Do you want to go to the park? Dog park? Dog park? <gasps> want to go to the park? Yeah! Hello everybody, my name is Ilya. And my name is Tyler. Together we make up Cobrate, a couple that loves to play board games. And love dogs. This is Beasley, if you don't already know. <laughs> yeah, Beasley hasn't made an appearance in a video for a while. Yeah. So here she is. She's a little uh, she's a little tired right now, so we're gonna keep her all cuddled up with me. So today we want to talk about Dog Park! Woof, 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 woof. So Dog Park is designed by Jack and Lottie Hazel. And it's illustrated by Holly Exley, Dan May, and Kate Avery. It's published by Birdwood Games, and it's coming to Kickstarter September 14th. So we'll throw the link down below. And just note, everything you see in this video is a prototype of the game, which is currently sent to us by the publisher, mm -hmm. and it is subject to change. So make sure to check out the Kickstarter project, see how maybe the game changed a little bit in terms of components-wise, or any other changes I've made. Well, Dog Park is a one to four player set collection game where your goal is to earn the most reputation points as the best walker and kennel out there. Now let's take a quick look at how the game plays. As always, you'll begin by setting up. Each player will get their kennel board, their lead board, a dog walker, and a dog marker to track reputation, some starting resources, and the bidding leash. Each player will also get a standard and an expert objective card, which they'll keep secret in hopes of obtaining more reputation at the end of the game. Now let's talk about the main board. Place it in the center so everybody has easy access to it. Then place the dogs in the dog field. Then place all the dog breed expert cards randomly in this column from top to bottom. You can place your location cards with one face up and the rest to the side. And if you're playing with the forecast cards, you'll place them up here. Those will add a little bit of bark to each of the rounds. So the game is played over four rounds, and each round is split into four phases. Your goal is to score the most reputation. Now, the four phases are recruitment, selection, walking, and home time. Now, in the recruitment phase, you'll do two rounds of bidding. Each player will bid for the dog that they want to track to their kennel. Now, they'll take turns placing their dog walker near the cart that they want but keep their bid secret until the end in case some of the dogs are contested. Now we'll be using reputation to bid and begin the game with five each. It's important to note that when bidding, you can't change your bid once you've placed your walker. Now if any dogs are contested, you reveal the bids and the higher bid wins. If there's ties, the person who bid first resolves that tie and the other player gets the dog that is left over for one reputation. Now various dogs have different breeds and abilities that can help you in various phases as well as final scorings. So you'll have to keep in mind which dogs you're attracting to your kennel. Now the second phase is selection. You'll select the dogs from your kennel to put on lead to go to the dog park with, which is listed on the left of the card. Now you can select up to three dogs to put on lead to go to the dog park. Next up is the walking phase. In this phase, you'll take your walker tokens and move them up to the walker track. Turn by turn, you'll place your walker one to four spaces away from you where you already are, collecting the location bonus on each space. If you wanna to go to a location that's already occupied, you can do that, but you have to pay one reputation. You'll do this until everybody but one player has left the park. Depending on when you leave the park, you'll get an additional bonus. But if you're the last person to leave the park, you'll lose one reputation. And now it's home time! Each dog on your lead will get a walked token, and for every dog in your lead area, you'll score two reputation. Now, if there's any dogs in your kennel that have not been walked, you'll lose one reputation for each of those. You'll put all your dogs back in the kennel, and you're ready to start the next round. Now, you'll do this three more times, and then final scoring can begin. So now you're ready to score. You'll score points from a reputation track on the board, your personal walker goals, dogs with final scoring abilities, and the Breed Expert Awards. Those are scored by having the most of that breed. You'll compete against the other players, and if there's ever a tie for Breed Expert cards, you'll share the points. And last but not least, every five remaining resources you have is worth one reputation. Now the player with the most reputation wins! Woo! And that is Dog Park! Yay! So what were your first impressions of Dog Park? Oh my goodness, I was so excited for this game because as most of you know, we have two dogs that we absolutely love and this game was like, wow! Dog Park! And now we can play it inside. It's an Australian <laughs> Shepherd on the front cover and both of ours are Aussies. So. Exactly. So this was like 
first impression before even opening the box, we were <laughs> sold on it. <laughs> True. Uh, once we opened the box, we were like, wow, this game is, well, I guess I'll speak for myself, the game is gorgeous. And I was very excited to get it to the table. Yeah, what actually amazed me and really surprised me is there's over 220 different breed cards in this game, which, wow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I did not see that coming. I thought maybe there'd be like 10 dogs that you kind of rotate through, but each card in this game is unique, which is quite amazing. Mm -hmm. But the gameplay is smooth. It's very, like you very much had to pay attention to what everybody is doing. It's a little bit of a competition. Yeah. But it also feels like you're just taking out your pups to the dog park and you're walking them and it makes me so happy. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a very fun game. I will say I was a little hesitant on one of the actions that you can take. It's, it's mm -hmm. like a swap. Um, you can change the dogs from your kennel with the dogs in the field. Mm -hmm. And I wasn't, I don't think my first impression, I really understood why that was a good thing to do. But after playing it a few times, I now understand that that's pretty critical. <laughs> it is. It's, it's really important for those breed expert awards. Yeah, yeah. And I think that's because you get so many points if you somehow manage to win a lot of those categories. That's really fun. And not only that, if you switch them out with cards that were benefiting you during the game for cards that will give you final scoring opportunities, then you're golden. So we play this game at three player count and two player count, and it plays fairly quickly. That's mm -hmm. one thing element I really enjoy about this game. But something that also sold me is as we saw cards get unveiled, I'm like, this looks exactly like one of our friend's dogs. So I'm like, I have to take a picture of this and send it to our friend. Yeah. And that was something that was really special because even like there's six or five different dachshunds in this, like with long hair, short hair, <laughs> wired. Like there's so many different variety yeah. of the breeds too. And they're all uniquely illustrated, which is so neat. I I can't get over the variety of the dogs that are in this yeah, game. Yeah, it's, so, it's very, I mean, we definitely connect with this game mm -hmm. solely for the fact that it's about dogs. Dog lovers. <laughs> So let's talk a little bit about like what excites us about this game, the mechanics, dive a little bit deeper into it. Yeah, I really, um, I think the obvious thing is the theme. Mm -hmm. um, the dogs, especially for a lot of people, I believe, um, they'll just really be drawn to it because mm -hmm. they either own a dog or they either love dogs or something or the other. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm really excited for the development of the uh, components. Uh, right now, they're just like the, the prototypes. Wooden prototypes yeah. But I can just imagine them being like the squishy toys Maybe. or like, we'll I don't, I'm not sure, yeah. but I'm really excited to see what happens there. <laughs> what about you? Yeah, I, I'm excited to see the kind of the final production and like the standard and deluxified version of this game. I think there's also opportunities for expansions, yeah. which is really exciting because I think right now they're mostly based out of Europe or the UK kennel association. Uh, oh. I don't, I, I don't 100 percent remember, but <laughs> maybe I'll link down below if I remember. I remember seeing something about it. Um, but the other aspect I think I really enjoy about this game too is that you use the your victory points or the reputation as bidding. Because I think that definitely sealed some victories for me when like, yeah. there's a dog that you really want, but are you really willing to bid five victory points to get it just to get like an extra few? And I think that's kind of the push and pull is like how where do I strategic, which dog do I want? How do I create this perfect community mm -hmm. of dogs that I want to walk? And it's not only that, like betting one or two more points can like lose you the game. Sure. Because our games have been extremely close. Yep, yeah, we just played a game today and I won by one point. <laughs> <laughs> um, so who do you think would like this game? Who do you think this game's for? I think I kind of already said it, but if you love dogs, mm -hmm. then this is definitely a game I would recommend checking out. Mm -hmm. If you're into set collection type games, then I think this is really, really, really down your alley. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, I like the bidding moving to the resource collection, the mm -hmm. walk phase. I think that's really neat because you have to plan ahead. And then also like that give and take of whether or not you're going to take a resource or do a special action. Yeah. So I think if that's like... I guess what I'm trying to say is if you like making those decisions on the spot, on the fly, and pl and also planning ahead for your next walks, I think mm -hmm. that's something that you should look for in this game. Yeah, to add on, I think it's it's about a middle range complexity game because mm -hmm. there are a lot of kind of planning ahead. You do need to like plan for the resources you have to make sure you have them for the dogs that you want to walk. You have to make sure you walk the newer dogs yep. to not lose. And there's a lot of kind of point uh, calculation that you could really get in your head about, but or you can really just enjoy the game and walk some dogs. Grab your favorite dog on the board. Good to go. That's true. <laughs> right. 
And yeah. the other thing I'll say too is each of the cards actually has a fun fact about the breed and the dog, which is an educational element that can get you to not only know the breeds, but also know something about each of the breeds. Because I know um, it's a great way to learn the breeds as well if you're into someone who really wants to know all the different dogs that are out there. Yeah, maybe you're on the fence about getting a dog and you don't know which one. Okay, you can just shuffle the deck, all of them. Shuffle the deck, <laughs> and flip the top one. There's your new There's dog. Your dog. <laughs> Go find your soulmate. <laughs> and that is Dog Park. Make sure you check out the Kickstarter page down below. It'll give you so much more information to, for you to learn about this game. And if it's not quite launched yet, make sure to hit that follow button so you're ready when the campaign does hit the live button. Woo and for our question of the day today, if you have a dog, what kind of dog do you have and what's its name? If you don't have a dog, what kind of dog would you want? Yeah. And what would you call it? Tell us about any fun <laughs> memories, any funny stories you have. Do we have any funny stories? We have plenty of funny stories. We also have so many nicknames for our dogs. Yes, yes. So. Beanu, Beasley, Bueno, Bean Bean, Bee, Bees. I could go on and, and on. And then Maggie gets Maggie, Margaret, Magdalene, <laughs> Margarine Butter every now and then. Mags. <laughs> She's a little clumsy girl. She is. Well, thank you so much for watching. Hit that like, subscribe button, all those buttons down below. Yes, yeah. And make sure to chat with us. We always love hearing from you. And we'll be back with more videos in the future. Mm -hmm. I'm very excited for this game, and I hope you folks are too. Well, until next time, we're gonna go for a dog walk to the dog park. Yes. Bye!